All right, uh, let's look at the homework 7.2, uh, problem number 7. All right, and I just want to point out that uh, I think the web assign has an incorrect answer. So if I look at the key, uh, this equation right here, is, uh, it says that uh, it's a hyperbolic paraboloid, all right? But in order to be a hyperbolic paraboloid, uh, one of these guys has to be just uh, either z or, or or y, you know, in, uh, you know, one with the without the squared, all right? So this is actually an elliptic cone, and you can actually look at the. Let's go to the um, uh, textbook here, all right? So here, um, elliptic cone. So hopefully this is a little bit. All right, so elliptic cone, if you put uh, everything on one side and you see that uh, zero on the right hand side and you have a one negative sign. So if you um, look at this guy, all right, if you put everyone on this side and then, uh, you know, then you have a, ne a negative y square on this side and a zero on the right hand side. So it fits exactly the elliptic cone uh, format. So uh, it's uh, here. And uh, if you compare that with the, uh, um, you know, uh, el elliptic uh, paraboloid, uh, is that what they uh, said it was? Uh, let's see, let's go back, sorry. All right, uh, hyperbolic paraboloid, sorry. All right, hyperbolic paraboloid, and if you go here, all right, you can see that the here you have a one variable without the square, right? So that that does not fit uh, with uh, the one uh, that's given here, right? So this is actually an elliptic cone. So uh, you can just uh, choose hyperbolic parabola to to get the credit, but the actual answer is supposed to be elliptic cone. And uh, I'll contact the uh, web assign to uh, so that, that they can fix it. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.